Oh man, hey, this is great. <laughs> this is very nice. Oh, uh, my name is Mark, uh, Mark Kendall. Uh, I'm a comedian. Junior year, um, I did this internship uh, in New York. Uh, Chris Rock, he set up this writing program for writers of color, or aspiring writers of color. And so I got to spend the summer in uh, New York. Oh, it's Ken again. Uh, I got to spend the summer in New York. Uh, like, they would kind of like have you hop around different departments. So like, you might spend a couple weeks in their development department. So you read scripts, you could pitch story ideas. Uh, you'd spend time like blogging for them for a couple weeks. But then like the crux of the program was I got to spend a week uh, shadowing the writing staff at The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. So I'd sit in on meetings. Uh, I could pitch jokes if I wanted to, and then I did the same thing with Colbert Report. And um, so that was like the closest that I had been exposed to being like, oh, here are people that write comedy for a living. Uh, and then that was also kind of a turning point uh, because I liked being in the Colbert Report writing room the most and because it was like very welcoming. And what I learned was later is like, oh, these are improvisers. Uh, and a lot of them had come from Chicago. And I was going to school, I was going to college in a suburb of Chicago at the time. So I started taking improv classes. I started doing stand-up that summer. So that's when I learned like, oh, if you're a writer, even if you don't necessarily want to act, you got to learn how to, you have to learn how things sound out loud when you're writing them. So that was like a big thing that I took away from that experience. And so then I started performing like out of that experience of chatting those writing staffs. And then the more I performed, the more I enjoyed doing it for performance sake. Yeah, so, uh, so Chris Rock, he set up this, it was through Comedy Central. And so I think it was kind of based off Chris Rock's time at SNL, because when he was in on SNL, I don't know exactly like who was on the writing staff, but I think he kind of felt like, um, you know, it wasn't a very diverse writing staff. And so, you know, when you're an actor on SNL, you can have other writers that you collaborate with. Uh, and so I think he would kind of go into these writing staffs, he'd pitch these ideas. The, the staff wasn't really diverse to bounce things off of him. So I think he had a tough time in SNL, despite being one of the funniest people that's ever lived. And so. By the time I did the program, he wasn't like personally involved in it anymore, but it was this thing that he had started. So it was through Comedy Central and, uh, excuse me, I had to apply several times. So like I applied maybe over the course of like three years, so each year, uh, it was probably for the best, but uh, each year I got better and better. So when I got in, I gave a, a spec script. So like uh, a script of like an existing TV show. So I wrote a, a spec script for Everybody Hates Chris, which was the TV show that he had on the air at the time. There was a Northwestern alum that worked at Comedy Central that called me up because I got rejected. He's like, oh man, let me try and help out this fellow Northwestern person. And he's like, yo man, like you might think this is funny dialogue, but when you give this to a stranger that doesn't know you or care about you, you need to be able to make a stranger like belly laugh with your writing. Yeah, it was kind of tough because I mean like, and also just to clarify, I wasn't necessarily like a writer when I was there, but I was kind of like shadowing them. So I had the option to, so I'd, so I'd go off and do my assignments, but then if I was in a meeting and I was feeling it, and I, and I could pitch, but I'm not, definitely not taking credit for like writing for any of them, but, um, um, but I would pitch, it was like a weird in-between thing, just, just for clarity. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, the main difference, it was, the thing that was challenging for me is like, you know, like I try to keep up with politics, I try to read, you know, but it's like the day-to-day -day stuff, it's tough. So much about it is not just seeing, reading something in the news and being like, oh, that's terrible, oh, that's crazy or oh, that's very funny or very silly, it's trying to put yourself in it so that you can develop a take on it or a point of view. And so like some big picture politi political stuff, I feel like I'm able to do that, but it's much it's, it's much more difficult in doing that with like day-to-day -day headlines. So it's not that I can't do it, but it's just like, that's not normally what, what I would choose to do. I kind of, I, I, I'm more interested in kind of like some like more bigger picture topics as opposed to like, what happened in the news today? You know, so I, but it's like the, a lot of those late night shows, it's like, what happened in the news like today or like five minutes ago? Whereas I'm more kind of like, well, what's, what's kind of happening over time? I learned uh, that, um, you know, um, that to be a comedy writer, you don't necessarily have to be a performer as well, but you have to be able to know how things sound. So, so it's like, if you're at a late night TV show, you have to write something in someone else's voice. And when you hand them, that line or whatever, when they when it comes out loud, it needs to be able to land with an audience. And so in order to develop that skill, you need to either expose yourself to performance or perform yourself. Uh, I also learned at the time uh, that, you know, late night TV isn't, you know, 
very diverse. It's a, it's a bunch of nice people, but it's, uh, it's not diverse. I, I, I'm not in the late 19 right now, so maybe it's changed, but uh, when I was around, it wasn't, it wasn't that. Um, I learned that, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, it's competitive, it's a lot of work, so like um, you're working with people that are really talented, a lot of people want those jobs, so um, I think the thing that I learned that summer is that stage time is very important, so um, you know, that's why I, I try and do as many shows as I possibly can, and yeah, so those are the things that I, 